Baladesh Melanori, Snowflake Frostflame here, and welcome to the next game we'll be, that we'll be playing. Last time we played um, Costume Quest 2, I was playing it blind, and it's a pretty good game. Kind of short, but it's a pretty good game. This time, we'll be playing a completely new game. Like, I've, I'll admit, yes, I have played a bit of this game, but I've not beaten the game, so I only know the basics, like how to play. I don't know, like, how to do everything, though. We'll be playing The Escapist, if I didn't say that. Uh, it is, for you guys who don't know, The Escapist is a game where you play as a prisoner and you gotta escape prison. Simple as that. But yeah, let's do this. It's loading up. Um, okay. Another thing you might have realized, it's all 8-bit. That's one thing I love about the game, because I like 8-bit. Excuse me? Oh, ah. Okay, now let's try that again. Let's not get rudely interrupted by an update. An update better have put something good in the game. Oh yeah. Um, is it working now? Yep, it is. Yeah, welcome to the Escapist. It's made by Team Seventeen and uh, Moldy Tooth Student. I don't know. Escapist. This game, I I think I said I only played a little bit of it a long time ago, but this game is amazing. New downloadable content. Did they put a new a new prison? Also, I have all the DLC prisons. Nope. Don't look like it. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. Really the only one I don't have is this, which is to get all of them. They didn't put that. I guess that's what they put in, because I don't remember that being in there before. But yeah. Uh, I ca I've only played up to Shankton State Pen, and I didn't even get that far in there. So... Should be pretty good. We will be playing as... Uh, that's the guy I usually play as. And we will be... Snowflake, obviously. I'm not putting in my real name. Okay. Now, what I like about this game is you get to choose the inmates and the guards. So, I'd have been I'd been doing a lot of thinking, and I'm gonna be putting in people that I know. So, I'll cut ahead until I put them all in. Okay, I'm back, and it took me a while, but we got everyone. Let me introduce you to who we got. We have Corsa, which is uh, a good friend of mine named Corsa Stradale, the other YouTuber. We'll have uh, Shadow Bussy, another friend of mine. Like everyone here, like they're friends of mine. We got Shadow Bussy, who also records with me occasionally. Cyber World War One, my my best friend in real life, and sometimes records with me. We have Road Killer, which I've mentioned in the previous episode. He's basically the group's maniac, so <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see if he'll be a maniac here as well. We have uh, Catzel the Cat, which is supposed to be Catzel, one of my uh, the guy that I plan on recording something with soon. We have Emmy, which is another one of my friends, Emmy Zombie Love. We have uh, Dark Princess, which is my sister. Fingers. Now, there's a thing about fingers. My sister would kill me if I didn't put him in here. Now, when I was testing the game, like, December 2015, I think, maybe even later, I don't remember when I was testing the game, but I was testing this, and uh, one of the NPCs was an inmate named Fingers, and he was always a total asshole to me, 
My sister loved him, so she would have killed me if I didn't put him in here. And, um... Mason. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll put Mason here. Sorry, more. In case you're wondering, Officer Moore would have, was uh, my very first best friend that uh, I met in elementary school. I might put you back in later, Officer Moore, but I want. I think Mason would be better as an officer. Mason's a good friend of mine, but I don't know. Our our friendship is like on the, kind of on the balance. I like the guy, but I don't know if he likes me. And you, you will be. Shit, what did he name his thing again? We'll call him Blitz. I'm pretty sure that's not his name. I'll I'll put it I'll put on screen what his actual name is or if it really is Blitz. And uh and then I'll fix it for the next prison. But yeah, Blitz. This is supposed to be a real good friend of mine, uh the um he was Pony Games Applejack, but uh now he's just Blitz. He's Pretty good singer and acoustic player. Alright. Uh, yeah, everyone here, either related to me or a good friend of mine. Now for the officers. We have Officer Dagneris. Officer Dagneris is. I can tell he's gonna be hell. Because uh, there's a story about him. Dagneris. Well, obviously, if you know the book, Dagneris is a dragon, but that's not what I'm referencing. Um, Dagneris is my father's World of Warcraft name. And, uh, my dad is a correctional officer in real life, so I asked him if he wanted me to put him in the game, and he said, sure. <laughs> so, and I've heard plenty of stories of my dad and, uh, how mean he can be to the inmates, so this should be fun. Next is Officer Nate, which is, um, the guy who train, uh, the guy who trained me at my work, his name was Nathan. And he recently got an Xbox Live account, so I tried putting his gamer tag, but it wasn't enough, so I just put Nate. Then we have Officer Nick, who is supposed to be um, uh, Nick from uh, Zexgrew, a minor YouTube group who kind of stopped recording, but I still want to record with them sometime. Nick is the only one I know. I'm pretty good friends with him. Officer Rainbow is another close friend of mine. Uh, she's rainbows are fun. I don't know if she's still part of fun with nightmares or whatnot, but I don't know. I just put her in anyways. But and last, you got Officer Mason, like I said, which is a good friend of mine. But like I said, I like him, but I don't know if, if he likes me. And that's uh, I don't know, cause he made up some he made some pretty good points a few a while ago, and I don't know. I li I'd like to think of him as my friend, but anyways, enough rambling, let's go. I've probably spent like 20 minutes doing all this crap. I'm not even going to look. What I'm going to try doing is I'm going to get through one prison in one recording session, and don't, but don't think that's going to give you barely any parts. Anyone who played The Escapist or knows anything about it, it takes a long time to escape a prison. <laughs> Even this one. Oh, it's the I f we gotta do the tutorial, f I forgot. Escaping? Good times. Well, this is it. It's time to put this plan to test. All, pre pre all preparations and hard work all boils down to this. Let's get to it. Now, this is the demo, it just shows you how to play. Uh, oops. It's, it's been a while since I played, so I guess I kinda need this demo. Uh, you got a screwdriver and a sock. Um, you can pick your desk up and some other things by pressing X, put it down, get on top. I switch to the screwdriver, and I can, uh, start working on it here. And now I can get up here, and out through the vents. Now I'm supposed to go down here, using the screwdriver, which broke. And I'm supposed to talk to James, who... And... I gotta buy a bar of soap from him. Press up. Uh. Okay. Uh, it's been a while. You can craft things together. And then I, now I got a sock mace. And then I'm supposed to not go through James' belongings, but... 
Um, oh, I have to equip it. <laughs> Just wondering. Alright, you equip it by going in there. Then this door opens. What I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to beat the shit out of Officer Lewis. And then I can loot him, take his stuff, and his clothes. Though, trust me, in the actual game, you never want to loot an officer. You'll get screwed real quickly. Not to mention, officers are really hard to knock out. You can change your outfits like that. Now I have this, the guard outfit. And now, um, the tutorial makes you believe that the guards are immune, won't notice you. But I think you do get noticed occasionally. Shovels, so you can dig through here. And then if you dig in the same spot that's already like that, then instead of digging forward, you dig up and escaping the prison. Now don't worry, that wasn't the actual prison. That was just showing you how to escape the prison. Now, escaping the prison is a lot harder. Uh, if it will load. You have... there's... Now, a few things I will... I, I forgot to mention that I'm gonna do. Uh, Snowflake... Snowflake, wake up! Grandma! Snowflake! Roadkiller's alter ego! Wake up, Snowflake, you're dreaming! The Warden! Yeah, that's the Warden's model. Well, that was interesting. Oh, I'm gonna pause real quick and mention something. A few things that I'm gonna do. Um, if you get caught in this game, all of your items that you have equipped get, uh, uh, they, you lose them forever, pretty much. So, most YouTubers and other people, when they play this game, they'll reset the game. I ain't gonna reset the game. I'm gonna go through it, no matter what. That's gonna take a lot longer for me to escape, but... Or, not a game, the day. But, it's gonna take a lot longer for me to escape, but it's, I, I, it'll be worth it. Another thing, um, it's possible to escape by causing a riot. I'm not gonna do that because it's way too easy. Like, really, like, if you wanna know how easy, all you gotta do is get your health up to maximum, cause a riot, and then you're out. Dear Snowflake, welcome to Center Perks, the most comfortable low security prison in the country. On behalf of all st staff here, we, er, uh, the staff here, we wish you a happy stay and relaxing visit. Should you get bored or to the complimentary cable TV, we provide ourselves and many other engaging activities around the ground. Warden Frank Brown. See, I don't get why these kind of prisons exist. Like, not even petty thieves get put in here. But hell, I'd like to get put in here. Alright. I got my sister. Fingers. Alright, who are you? Officer Nate. Off, uh, who's giving roll call? Officer Dagnaris is. First day you want, what you want to do is, um, you want to find out the schedule. Onto a more pr uh, pressing, onto a more pressing issue. You already said that, Dagnaris. Get to the point. The following scum due to a cell toss. Yeah, during roll call, he'll, he'll, you'll, he'll announce. Emmy and Corsa. During the uh, roll call, he'll announce who gets a cell toss or cell search. Someone stole the warden's. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, during day one, uh, they or not day one. During roll calls, they do uh, cell searches. Um, roll calls begin during morning and night. If you do not, you have to show up during roll call. If you do not, then the whole prison goes under lockdown. Um, uh, eat your food. Uh, by the color of their names, that shows my respect for them. Fingers, no doubt, I'm probably only at 50. And it seems like, in this prison, uh, it gives you, like, you know, average respect towards the inmates, but you seem to have maximum respect towards the guards. Like, watch, let me show you. Uh, Emmy just got beaten up. See, look, Catsil the Cat is, like, lime green, but Officer Rainbow is also lime green. Okay, Officer Mason likes me, and same with Officer Degneris. Okay, free period free period you just go around and do whatever you want since we don't really have a whole lot to be doing I guess I can show you around the place um, over here is uh, the job board you come here to get new jobs more inmate cells this is the infirmary if you get knocked out you appear here 
the medic. I'd never seen the medic come out of there. Um, during certain parts of the day, some areas will be available and some won't. Like these doors right here, they'll be locked during some other parts of the day. Yeah, but one thing I gotta give credit to this game is I love the soundtrack. It's beautiful. Oh, there's uh, Frank. Frank, come back here. The warden will occasionally wander around the. On the Robert! You're not Frank! Oh, fuck you. The hell happened to Frank Brown? Uh, someone threw up on the floor. Um, over here is solitary confinement. That's where you end up if you uh, misbehave. There is a payphone. Payphones give you secrets about the game, but I kind of know the gist, and I don't need any secrets. There's a lawn chair. I think can I can I can I lay in it? Oh, I can. I never knew that. I'm in my underwear, but that's pretty cool. Uh, these locks with colors on them. They only open if you have that specific color key. How do you get those keys? The guards have them. But there's a thing about that. You never want to loot the key off the guard unless you have a specific item. Otherwise, you will go to solitary confinement. Cyber. I wonder what's, let's follow Cyber. Oh, these are kind of funny. If you come here, you can uh, get a visitor to see you. Let's see who. if anyone comes. Alright, we got her. Um, listen. Well, you might want to hurry up. It's lunch period. I'm engaged. Oh, fuck you. Damn bitch. No, I, I shouldn't say that. There's some profanity I will say, but some other things go a little too far. Alright, lunch period. Road killer, you got your ass kicked. Who kicked your ass, road killer? <laughs> I'd expect you to kick everyone's ass. Like... The only person I could think of kick Roadkiller's ass is Catsoul because they're Roadkiller and Catsoul are both big guys and they're both football players. A bit overcooked. Alright. Um, when they're on the ground, you can actually loot them. Fingers as a plunger, a family photo, luxury toilet roll, and some dye. He doesn't really have anything worth taking. Alright, job quotas. This is how you get money in the game. You use money to buy thi to buy stuff from off the inmates. And my job is uh, laundry. So I gotta take all the dirty laundry and put it put them in the machine. And then you gotta put them with the clean laundry. And uh, you have to do this within before the time's up. If you don't get your job quota done in time, then uh, um, uh, fuck up. You uh, get fired from your job. And right now I can only do this because my intellect is low. But once my intellect is higher, okay. Once your job quota is done, you don't have to work anymore. So this is basically just free period for me for a little bit. Once. I think I sh I kind of want to get my intellect up, but um, you, uh, over on the upper right hand screen, upper left hand screen, I should say, uh, that's my health and energy. Energy takes a while to get back up. You get uh, you got you get it up by um, eating or taking a shower. And with exercise period being here, this is why I didn't want to do it. Now, do I want to get up my strength or stamina? Um, one boosts your health, while the other boosts how fast you move. I think strength boosts your health, with how weird that is. And I got a butt mash RT and LT. This seems simple at first, but when you do this for a long period of time, this really hurts your fingers. So, yeah. Um... You done yet? Listen, get oh, let's get sweaty. Push it. He's staring at my abs. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at Road Killer. He's the one that's like two over from the left for me. Okay, I don't want to take a shower. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get tired. Oh, so uh, over the left side of the screen is your uh, energy and health. 
Over on the right side of the screen is your money, and that guard symbol is your trouble meter. Right now it's at 0%, but if it goes up to a hunt and it goes up higher and higher, um, when it's at 100%, that means you're uh, a, a huge threat, and if you can't go outside, because if you go outside, then the snipers will shoot you. And yes, there are snipers in this game. <laughs> they are incredibly annoying, and they do a lot of damage to you, but there are ways around the snipers if you have the right items. Okay, I'm too fatigued. Oh, who knocked? Emily got knocked out in the shower. Emily has a cup, some soap. I'll take that magazine from you, Emily. Thank you. I'll take that sh uh, comb shiv. Or no, it's just a razor comb. Um, and I'll take that soap. Thank you, Emily. Or Emmy, I should say. Why the hell am I calling you Emily? Alright. You can get your energy back up by eating during uh, dinner or lunch or whatnot. And yeah. I should probably equip that. Oh, my sister is selling some pretty good items. <laughs> Metal sheet, hammer, oh, duct tape definitely. Those are really hard to come by and a lot of things require duct tape. If I had the money, I'd buy that from you. My sister has a neutral opinion of me. And my sister has a hammer. Uh, Alright. Code red. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Alright, I'm gonna equip that. Just so I have a weapon. Alright. Now, one thing I should have mentioned. Um, going down to my inventory. If you look here, it says purple magazine. It's in green. That means it's a good item. Uh, or a good item. <laughs> It means to set item the guards uh, won't uh, take off of you because it's a normal item. But when it's like uh, like this, with, with the razor comb, it's red. That means the guards will take it off of you. And the percent is obviously it's health. Items decay in this game. So yeah, if I get caught, they'll take that razor comb off of me. But it, you're very unlikely to get caught. Okay, evening free period. I'm going to go back over here and do some more workouts. Well, work out some more, I should say. But yeah. Not really a whole lot to talk about while I'm here, because the other inmates are wandering around, and I'm all alone in the gym, trying to get buff. Now, why you want to do all these workout and stuff... I heard cats of the cat. Oh. Come back here, Bryce. Hear what you're saying about cats of the cat? <laughs> uh, toilet's clogged again. That's one thing I don't like is how um they speak really quickly in this game. So you gotta look at it real quick. Um, uh, okay. And they say a lot too. Oh, come on, damn it! Officer Rainbow, you checking up on me? Also, there are no female models, that's why um, uh, Emmy, Rainbow, and uh, my sister are men. And I guess it would make sense, because you can't keep women and men together in prisons. Or at least, that's uh, from my understanding. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Alright. 38. Alright. We can get our energy back up by taking a shower. And, uh, right now we got 34 health. That's pretty good. Max health you can have is 50. And, uh, um, the speed boat. Like I was saying before I got sidetracked, uh, why you want to, uh, increase your health and, uh, energy. Not energy, your, uh, your speed. Because, let's say if something goes south and the guards are chasing you, it is much easier to stay alive when you have a lot more health and you run twice as fast as them. At nighttime, the officers will have flashlights like that, and uh, roll call. We don't really have much to worry about with roll call, because we don't really have any contrabands, because they don't search your person for them, but they search your cells. And yeah. Speaking of... <laughs> Good job, bro. Shadow, I keep calling them all by their real name. My bad. 
We're upgrading our cable our t cable TV package for all inmates. Uh, the lucky winners of today's shakedown are Dark Princess and Shadow. Lovely. That's what you get, Shadow. Who are you beating up? I don't remember who that Blitz. Alright. But yeah, once you go in your cell at night, the door the gate the door locks. What the hell is that? Does that that lowers your intellect? Are you serious? Why would you turn that on then? Wait, did that really lower my intellect? Hold on, let's test that. I'm at twenty nine. No. No. Alright. Oh, it does lower your intellect. That's why the hell would you mess with that then? That's stupid. Alright. 